Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn about solid principles. The solid principles of objects oriented design includes this five principle SRP means single responsibility principle, OCP open and close principle, LSP LISCO substitution principle and ISP interface segregation principle and DIP dependency inversion principle. So today we are going to learn about single responsibility principle what actually single responsibility principle is saying a is reason, reason to change and second one is the single responsibility a class or method should have only a single responsibility and one reason to change a class or method should have only one reason to change a single responsibility have many benefits reduction in complexity of a code increase readability extensibility and maintenance reusability and reduce error better testability and reduce coupling let's we see the examples open new project Select console application, Visual Studio, that console application, console app, SRP, single responsibility principle. Create one class here. That is it, student service class, public class, student service. Here will be first name, and last name. We create one more class that will be static data. Yes. Student service. So here I'm going to we'll create one method. Let's write student registration. And student service. Static data dot list or service dot and that is it. Everything is looking good from here. If we create that object of a string service and you can add first name. BC and last name X1 check with dot student registration. Then we pass that to the let's see. In this example, everything is looking good. You, are, you have created one student service and you are passing as a student service class. And here you are trying to add that one static data, that list of, and here you are adding that one. So what is the problem here? Let's see, let's take an example. If uh, somebody asks you to add uh, two more responsibility, 
add that email and second one send one notification to that uh, student email id so how, what's the problem will face first you have, have to do here one thing you have to do you have to create one more data type that will be email and one more method here that it will be send notifications so but the single responsibility is is saying but here you can see that it's a not one it's a two reason to change for particular class this class has two reason to change first one to add that email and second one is for send notification so it's a violating that single responsibility principle single responsibility saying that a class or method should have one only one reason to change or uh, a class or methods should have only a single responsibility so how you will fix that issue first uh, what you have to do you have to create a class that will be the student only so here you, have, you can add that all those fields like here and one more request came that one is that email id email or second one is that same as it is like that but here you have to pass that student so it will be that obj student and this one need to change that student and one more thing is that send notification So here it will be that uh, you can pass that fully object or just pass that string email address like email. So if you are thinking that one student service have a two methods so one is that student registration and one is that send notification so but uh, in the single responsibility is saying that uh, you can add uh, same entity in one class it's like that uh, if you are adding that uh, in the student service if you want to add that add method update method delete method and uh, select methods that all are a one entity for the student service or you can do one more things you can create one more class like a that for send notification and you can pass as a parameter like a email email notification and you can write it and this one from here once a user has registered that times you can call that send notification method that will be that user dot email id and from here student service in the man method we will call object service dot first student object service that will be first name
ABC with last name which will to XYZ and object email ABC at gmail.com So from here you can create that object and this one dot student registration. So you have to pass the OBG now if you that client wants to extend some things so you can extend so no need to change in that uh, in that service so only one reason to be changed if you want to add in the student class some more things just like a address so you can add here so for this class it's uh, one reason to change if you are going to add something that is student service so you have to add uh, one more method like a update and delete so it said uh, that student service will have one reason to change. Yeah, if we put more than one functionality in one class, then it introduce coupling between two functionality. So if we change one functionality, there is a change we broke coupled functionality, which requires another round of testing to avoid any bug in the production environment. It reduces bug fixes and testing time. Once an application goes into maintenance phase, it follows the dry principle. Because what will what is happening here, if you will modify something in this service, so that uh, tester team will test only this service. If we will put that uh, all those methods in a one class, so if you, you, we will change in a one method so but tested teams to have to change the full of the functionality so that's why we are using that in different different class and with different method i hope it's clear thanks for watching